It's August 10th, 2021, and today we are presenting you with a boat that we just took in on a consignment. It's a local boat run out of Florence, Oregon, and that's where it's at here in Florence, Oregon. This is a 26-foot North River offshore, and this boat is awesome. We're gonna go through a lot of the features that this boat has so you understand exactly what you're getting, what you're looking at, and uh, then we can make it, uh, then we can get it to the Make sure you block that out. And once everything looks good for you, come on down, we'll make a deal, we'll make it your boat. Starting at the bow, or at the tongue, we're gonna do all the exterior items first and then we'll go inside. We've got a two and five sixteenths inch ball through uh, uh, Dexter brake actuator, hydraulic brakes on both axles. Got a heavy Fulton jack. We've got a big box up here in the front for storage of items, the little strut, different things you need to keep on there, which is lockable. Now, this is a Pacific trailer. These Pacific trailers are built really nice because instead of being bolted together like most other trailers, these are welded together and then galvanized. So that makes it so that all of these areas right here where you normally have bolts that would rust out, they don't do that. And it's open channeled so the water can't get trapped in it either, making it much, a uh, much higher quality trailer and longer lasting trailer. We do have the spare on the front and we've got here the uh, stanchion with the wind chain underneath with a big mamma jamma strap. That thing's huge. It's bigger than most straps. Say so you have the biggest strap. Okay, uh, these are just drains for the anchor for the anchor box. And then we've got on the bow on the pulpit here, we've got an anchor on the uh, bow mounted. And then if you go back here, it does have a windless anchor retrieving system. Uh, the Pro Fish by Lumar. And then I want to also point out this rail. This is a substantial rail. So you're able to fish off the bow of this, no problem. It gives you plenty of, uh, uh, plenty of secure, um, something to hold on to, keep you in the boat. You're gonna be able to fish off the bow of this. Uh, also, if you notice here on the top of the house, there is a large LED, curved LED light for docking. And go down, one other thing I wanted to show you, this is special to this North River. They do not have these on the new ones and that is a exterior quarter inch keel plate that goes down the entire keel of the boat. As you see here, it's welded on at this point. So you got quarter inch, another quarter inch, so solid right here. So if you strike a log or a telephone pole in the, in the ocean going underway, that's gonna keep this boat from opening up uh, like you might get with another one. You've also got a nice turn down chine around the whole thing, which is standard for these North Rivers. And if you can see here too, you got lifting strakes along here. It keeps the boat right higher and drier. Going on back. If you're terrible at loading a boat onto a trailer, this will help you be less terrible at it. That's a big, huge, big, huge load guide on here. And it's so cool that they put a ladder on the side of this load guide so that you can climb up and get in the boat from the side here as well. Also, you have the transom ladder like you normally would on one of these North Rivers. We have trim tabs, and this also is a wet deck. We've got our uh, scuppers there. And then if you look over here, hydraulic steering on the unit, drives both motors here. And then we've got Yamaha F250, four strokes on there with stainless steel saltwater series props and all maintenance is up on these things. And so they're ready to roll and go out right away and be used. All of our anodes have been replaced, so we have good fresh anodes on the, on the uh, transom here. On the offshore bracket, extended transom. I think you said the trim tabs. We got electro tabs on there, so those are electric trim tabs. So those are great for that. You see the condition of this side of the trailer, just so you can see in this side of the boat. And we'll head on inside. We've got a couple of Mari here from the dock here, it looks like. We had some rubbing at that, a couple of spots. So there's my hand in comparison. It's been touched up a little bit, but you can't see it. 
Um, it's a fishing boat. Again, it's a 2008 um, North River. And let's go ahead and go up top side. I think we covered most of the items down here. Okay, top side on the boat here in the deck area, back at the transom. We have our fill up on this side, so this is the, your fuel fill. And the, this boat does have a 200 gallon tank and it is full of fuel right now. Just fresh fuel, just put in there. This is the uh, storage area. You have, a, you have a fish box here in the back on the extended area, the transom. And then you have a nice uh, aftermarket. This is aftermarket uh, rod spread in the back here for your rods, a couple of storages on the front here. Believe me, if you have fishing rods, which brings me to another thing, this boat comes with a bunch of fishing rods. This thing comes with a ton of really good, brand new, uh, we've got four electric rods and reels that go with it. The boat's full gas. There's a ton of extras that are coming. We'll get you some pictures of all the extras that are coming with it. Because when he dropped off the boat, he's like, I'm done. An older gentleman said, I'm done. And when he said he's done, he's like, I got all kinds of fishing gear that goes with this boat. So you don't know, it's kind of one of those grab bags or those things you don't know what you're gonna get. I mean, obviously you know get the boat and that, all this stuff that we're going over. There's extras and a lot of them. So you just don't, we just don't know. It's gonna be a surprise. All right, going back to it here. Let's check out the rigging here in the transom. Looks like we've got Optima batteries here. I can tell you on the electrical system on this, this thing's done heavy duty. Uh, this is a, a really well done electrical system here. But you've got your battery switches back here for the house, and then you've got your running batteries. We're gonna go ahead and pull this other side too. Oh wait. This would be our house battery. Those are crank start batteries. That right there is a large, large battery. How many amp hours? 198 amp hour battery in there. You can run it for a month on that dang thing. Um, yeah, instead of having fuse, you got all in line um, circuit breakers, uh, battery switch, which I'm gonna turn that on because we have to go play some electronics. Uh, pumps for the hydraulic steering for the autopilot. I'm giving away the uh, stuff that we're gonna get to. Autopilot, so cool. That's our rig, uh, rigging for the electrical circuits here. This is a wet deck as we talked earlier, so all aluminum decks, no wood in this boat. It's all solid in this back deck area, and then it can run overboard there, and it's got a couple of screens there to keep things from falling out that you don't want to go out the scuppers in there. And then check this out. Look at these combing bolsters. Look at that, man. This is like, this is like the most comfortable, comfortable gunwale to lean up against. You got the handle here, hit you midway right there. This is really comfortable because you know when you're on the ocean, you're moving around a lot and you have to put yourself against the steady surface. These combing bolsters are phenomenal. I don't think they came with the boat. I think they were put on after, but I don't know. They're awesome though. I tell you how cush they are right now and they're in perfect condition here. So that's amazing too. So you've got that going as well. And then we've got the bait well right here, dead center. Get your bait, throw it out for tuna. And the coolest part is, as you can see in it, it's got the glass on the sides. So you know what? I honestly would say if I was bottom fishing, I may throw those in there and the kids would go nuts just staring at that all day. They would just be like, whoa, it's my new toys, it's my new fish. Put a big gnarly lean cod in there. You could, fare, man, you could probably fit a 25 pounder in there. That'd be a fun. Then you got an aquarium going with the boat. So entertainment all day long. And then we've got the saddle uh, fish boxes on the sides here. Drain outside on macerator pump. One on each side here. Um, this has got the large fuel tank, so you can see it uses most of the floor up here. So this has got the rather large fuel tank. Uh, we've got exterior here. We've got the outside electronics. So we've got a Raymarine E120, which is not a touch screen, but it is a, it is a uh, uh, full color and a daylight visible screen. So it is actually, it's got everything on it too. It's networked with the one in the front. So you've got your radar, fish finder, everything going through these displays. So you can see those going on here, kicking on. Also has a through hole transducer, thousand kilowatt, I believe. Don't quote me on that. But any of those big 
gnarly transducers that are going through the hole are usually that. And so those can see going like 30 knots, you can see the bottom, you can track really good. Um, you can't get that with most fish finders. Um, and those, you know, those are 15 to hundred dollars just for the unit plus the installation on those. So that's a lot of value in those, in that transducer. Um, and they're the same as they are the new ones. Okay, I think we got everything here deck side except our cup holders. We forgot to get the cool cup holders. Got the cup holders, more rod holders all the way across the top. Oh, let's take a peek up top real quick too. put up here there's a lot of room for a raft up here a lot of guys will throw up a raft if they're gonna, if they're gonna go up like in the San Juans or something like that camping then throwing up extra stuff up here this is a great place to haul here. you've got the rails all around it here so you can tie your gear down but nice solid roof up here for extra storage plus a billion fishing rod holders no actually not a billion one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. If you got more than 26 rods, you will not have enough places to put all your rods. There we go. Obviously, we got the Ray Marine radar up here. Big, large area up front. Like I said, right here, when you want to do your Titanic picture pose. Bow pull fit perfect for that. Um, these high rails, in all serious, these high rails are excellent. Um, even double le levels on those, what you call that. But yeah, an all traction tread up front here, so you can get a good, good, uh, uh, or get a good solid traction on top, on the top side here. All right, let's go on inside. Check it out in there. The door stays locked on the sliders, you know, so a lot of them will latch back. This makes it really nice with the slider door, but just don't look like too much of an idiot like I was before when I was off camera trying to be like, oh, I can't shut it. It's right here on the side. That's where you shut that down there. It's got a sliding or a window down here too. This is really cool, right in that bulkhead. All right, here we go, on in. This is a unique configuration for one of these. If you need a, a <laughs> How often is it that the entire crew has suspension seats? They all have mariners underneath them, and you've got you've got five seats inside here, all suspension seats. There's a unique layout here where it has your different rows. You feel like you're going on a you're going a spaceship in this thing. This is really neat. Uh, you've got your rigging station over here with all your storage. Let's open those up. There's gonna be cool stuff in there. Look at this setup. That's all wood built out in there. So you kind of set up your own. This side's got all your slats for your uh, tackle storage system. Holy cow. Built that all out. Got that, plus like I said, you have a rigging station here you can, and it has a lip around the whole thing. So as the boat's moving around, there's no worrying about getting it uh, rolling off or having it roll off or anything along those lines. Okay, so more storage there. You got storage underneath each side here too for probably life preservers. You got that. There is life preservers in this side here. I'm not going to pull them all out. A lot of room underneath each one of these. This guy's all empty here. Holy smokes. So a lot of storage goes way back in there. And then this side here as well. That one's got a little courtesy light. And some uh, fuel water separators. Like I said, Mariner suspension seats all the way around here. And then the big bunk area. When you're camping, lots of room up here for sleeping. One dude. That's it. And then, and then we've got the... Uh, rigging so most of these this is all enclosed however with this particular boat they didn't put a cabinet here which is nice because it's all open and accessible so there's your different networking units uh, for the uh, ray marine items the uh, fish finders and or the the multi-function displays the autopilot 
and then that's the network for the uh, transducer and the uh, multiple head units. Oh, I'm sure it <coughs> exterior uh, GPS antenna as well. So there you go there, let's check out the dash. All right, up here at the helm, again, we have another E120, so the exact same units front and back, so you don't have to learn how to use two different units. That makes it nice. And then you've got the Raymarine VHF radio. Um, each engine here, let's go ahead and click these engines on. Can't because I have the battery switch off. And if I'm not mistaken, these engines are fly-by-wire. So on this Bionicle control here, these are all fly-by-wire engines on these. So that's awesome too. So you don't have cables that are going out back there. And so you get a lot less resistance on here. Uh, that's really awesome. Uh, your windlass here, there's your switch, put the anchor up and down. Autopilots right here, there's your control for the autopilot uh, setting course. You got a big Ritchie compass on here. Uh, we've got tack and uh, fuel, so we've got all data engine readouts for the engines, for both engines, one on each side. Uh, this has got your basic, your basic stuff here, uh, lights, anchor light, uh, starboard wiper, port wiper, bilge pump, deck lights. And then on this side over here is where we have all the rigging for the radar, I mean the, the power supply, the rear depth found of the bait pumps, the autopilot, accessories and accessory down here, so lighting and stuff like that. We've got that um, underneath. We've got a couple other little electronics and things. Mostly all of this is rigging for the engines. Uh, you've got the Yamaha, yeah, you got the Yamaha uh, network here to run the fly-by-wire stuff. I forgot what they call that. Also, we've got handles on the ceiling here for holding on. So if you don't get to be one of the lucky four passengers with suspension seat, get a ride right here if you're inside. A little glove storage area right here for the front. Again, you've got grab handles right here to make it easy. So that will make it much easier. Always facing forward when you're underway. So you really do, this is a different, this is a much different layout than, than most of these. I actually really like having the feel of being sitting forward, even if you're in the back row there. You're, you're going out and this is a much better experience than sitting at that little table without any suspension and uh, and uh, looking at the little map on the table like most of them. No, oh, man, you're part of the action with this boat. You get to, you get to hold on and be all into it. You got a, you got a real seat in this boat. There we go. Many uh, extras, like I said, coming with it. Um, we'll go over those, get some pictures of those items. But what a great boat. I mean, this is a forever boat. This is a boat you can basically run for forever and ever aluminum hull heavy duty heavy duty hull uh, built out full pilot house full bulkhead like this thing is built like no other and so yeah if you want an awesome boat go out and catch some fish spend a week spend weeks go traveling exploring you got the boat for it right here <laughs>